receive the Fist of Fury. <coughs> Prepare the long rubber glove. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my glove will go. Dark Father, Holy Satan, we call upon you and your YouTube corporate counterparts to take our souls in exchange for lots of views, many likes, and monetization, and the ability to speak well. Welcome to the Halloween episode of the Long Rubber Glove Podcast. As you can see, I got the ghouls with me. I said the ghouls, not the fucking rim jokes. <laughs> As you can tell, this is a different style, celebrating the holidays. We tried to live stream. We tried. Um, we were gunners. Xfinity gig internet, I guess, only allows a couple of megabytes. Back. Kilobytes. kilobytes a second upload speed so uh we were having some issues but uh yeah so we're gonna do this as if it were live you saw the intro um i got a, a thing here of things that we're gonna a little chart a structure a structure <laughs> um, these guys suggested to change two of them so we're gonna do that the first two I have arrows so that the switch is swapped. Oh, um, because I, I was a link. I we're could not here, uh, to here to here to here. Kinda. Read your mind. Okay. Well, All I guess right. let's uh rock and roll into it. It's uh we're gonna start off with weed of the week. Indeed, we are. And with the weed of the week, got this time. We preserve Halloween Day special. For this Halloween special, I got monster gorilla cookies. Something else. And because Wimp Low has shit on his face, <laughs> <laughs> gonna get the last. The very last bit. No more. I wiped where, it off. Where'd all the white come from? We all know. Let's just say uh, glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no. We all know. Um, so, yeah. I don't like the way that this all looked from this screen. Right. I know it's better on that screen. Yeah, it looks Thanks. much more fluid from what yeah. I can see. That's just because this is running off of what? Well, it's capture and then transfer and then transfer. And yeah. Yeah. Have you ever tried playing video games? You know Dumb. what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. I well, got lost like, for days. Uh, when I'm recording, I'll set up my iPad here and it'll be my mix board so that I can have the editor up and still see my tracking as well. So I got all functionality based off screens, but there is kind of a lag when I'm trying to adjust the fader. Like it'll adjust and then the sound will kind of catch up. So yeah. it's like an adjustment and then like a 0. 0.2 millisecond delay and then I hear it. So. And any delay frustrates me. I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like the way. I need instant. It ruins workflow. Yeah. That's for certain. I don't know if stuff's working like live streams. It like loaded and works. So whoever caught that. Catches it, be like, oh, well, this was Seen a fail for a second. Yeah. It was a fail, but this is weed of the week. All right, the weed monster. Damn, that smells pretty. You know what goes really well with weed? It's coffee stuff. Yeah, delicious coffee brand coffee stuff. Um, if you. Want to get yourself some coffee brand coffee stuff? 
hot cocoa, teas, or delicious coffee. You can go or nuts, baby, and use our That's link. That's a lot of nuts. Down in the description, it will be there, and that link. And use our code, Long Glove, at checkout. All caps. You get ten percent off. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys still got that pumpkin pie? It's not pumpkin spice. It's pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. Mm. It's like an actual pumpkin pie, especially if you put the right creamer in it, so it's not just pure. Great coffee. I mean, I haven't tried it with just sugar, but it's bomb. Yeah, we, when we did it here, <laughs> it was just pure coffee, no sugar. Yeah, I did it. Eggnog. Oh. Well, when you add eggnog to anything, really, it's just like Oops. adding sugar. <laughs> it's, a, it's never a bad thing. All right. So when this gets to here. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Still gotta drive the poop stang home. Have it. Damn. The Get sacrifices ripped. I make for this podcast. So lazy, why don't you uh, tell us what you have in store for the rest of the podcast? It's a blank page. A fraud. Nothing. Nothing. No, I just have kind of the idea of the of how the live stream is supposed to go because we're gonna he's have to asking do all because he forgot as we go um <laughs> the weed of the week thing like what i should have done i'll probably end up um his went instead of snapping should have just played it i was kind of wondering why we didn't yeah well, let's just leave it in there. We'll just call that a part. Like, because if it would have been live, that's how it would have been. So, for now on, you know, that's our cues. We snap. <laughs> we to snap know our transitions. Snap your fingers. Yeah, I mean, we don't have the cool thing. We're not. They, we're not there yet. They see us snap. I know they, they do. See our comebacks. But now they, they I don't get to cut see it very well. I yeah. just, I just, just slap cut that it. Bitch now up. you get to see what it is. It's literally that quick. It's yeah. It's just a marker. Just a marker. I'm not a big so, fan of that taste. Of so. The initial, the initial flavor of that is. Not so, do you have the next finger like loaded up as we get continue to transition into the podcast? Oh, it doesn't. You probably should. Yep. So probably not. Yeah, fucked up. Check. We'll go ahead and uh, fill in while you take care of that aspect. And T Dub, how is the weed of the week? Um, I am not a fan of the initial uh, flavor offhand. Okay. First rip. Okay. It's really weird. Aftertaste is all right. Weird. Pretty, in, uh, can you describe better as in weird? Like, uh, like almost. Mm, almost no. Oh, like it might not cured well. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. It might just be because there's like shatter in there. Oh, is it infused? Yeah. Oh, so he's trying to kill us. Yeah. So we're yeah, just gonna episode. go to the snaps because. Every time I load one up, it just loads it immediately okay. to the thing. And so, like, as you guys were talking, it just started playing. So this is how we'll do this. We'll just transition. And I'll just edit our... it later because we're recording it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we'd get it out right away. No. That's what the fans want. I wish that it would work. I have to figure out, like, the streaming process better. I'm an editor. I edit. Post. <laughs> shit, post. <laughs> I film it. And then I edit it later. Well, I'm just going to say they have people who are editing live as well. So they do. Oh, I'm, that, I'm not that guy. You're a half editor. No, I'm a, not that guy. I'm a purist. <laughs> I'm a purist. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> I'm a purist. You're not that guy. I'm not a... I don't make knives. I only make swords. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't believe in, like, if you're going to make a sword to make it with a factory machine. Saying, I think you gotta build it from the ground up. Purist. Fair, fair enough. And you know, shit like this happens live, where it's all fuckered up. No, yeah, sure does. And people that edit live, it's they got like twenty people pulling small clips. Really not like editing. It's more like cutting pieces out and sending it off to somebody, which they have AI for. So why the fuck would I do that? Yeah, fair enough. There you go. Alrighty. 
Yeah. Um, okay, well, I mean, let's, uh, as that continues to burn, let's move along. We'll go into uh, current events. All right, so we got to witness about as current of an event as you can possibly get. A day. Two blocks away from where we film right here, there was a SWAT standoff underway, mind you, as we Why passed by going would to. Would you give people my fucking love? There's. Two blocks away. You'll never find us. Well, first of all, two You'll blocks away is find a, me, it's a euphemism because. It was really far away, actually. actually. Yeah, actually <laughs> I know it was more than two blocks. I'm just saying, don't give so oh. many specifics. Just say, in our area. Okay, well, we happen to be going to a gas station right. in said area. Puff off your fingers. Off your fingies. Don't put your goddamn lipstick. It's not lipstick. What is it your on? Teeth. Right? Clip it on your teeth, not your lips. Your teeth. <laughs> no teeth. Oh, no. Oh, too much teeth. <laughs> okay. He's gonna, he's gonna suck it in and fucking choke on the motherfucker, right. dude. <laughs> Sorry, lazy. <laughs> Damn it! And he just squishes it right in. All over it. There. Right there, dog. I can see it. Don't fucking shrug your shoulders, like, <laughs> you oh, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you pay twenty dollars for this? I was gonna say I would never. <laughs> I did pay twelve. I see what you say about that. And you don't even like it, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and not a gay one, just the shit kind. Pile of sticks, bundle of sticks. Yeah, just straight up. Does nothing. Is it? Get We're going to monetize for like a day and then they're going to go back. To Fresh! We're going <laughs> <We're> to <gonna laughs> have to find some fucking real conservative sponsors. That's what we're going to do. YouTube AdSense and revenue is not going to be. Yeah, Better yeah, fucking kill speech. that, homie. <coughs> I don't want it anymore. I don't even. <laughs> I don't. Let me, let me put it this way. When a girl I'm dating wears makeup. She wants a kiss from me or to touch me at all. She needs to wipe that bro. fucking face. I will not allow. You, you fucking broke up with the bitch because of lipstick. No. Um. Uh. You the one that broke up with the bitch because of Dragon Ball Z? Or no, it was because of Kung Pao. Oh yeah, no. Straight didn't up think it was Kung funny. Pao, she she was get the like, fuck out. <laughs> she, she turned and looked at me, dead in the face, in the most serious manner. I don't want it. I have another joint. It's fine. No. I was tasting it the last time. Here, I'll show you how you fucking do it, you stupid fucking clown. <laughs> it's okay. That's what you do when you have gay face paint on. Now you you can't do it because now you have gay human. face paint on. <laughs> I have real face paint. I got real warrior paint. That's how we do it. Get real in there forever. Get my Listen, face done. I've watched like a thousand horror movies, and the one thing that I always notice is that there's always a fucking priest with dark makeup trying to get a deal with Satan. And as I stated, corporate YouTube and Satan are as one. And I just want to make who's money. Who's gonna get us not monetized? <laughs> me. I just, <laughs> just want to make money. I just want to make money. That's all I want. The one do. calling out the Dark Lord and his fucking peoples. And I'm offering our souls to YouTube. I'm saying, hey, give us money. We'll give you. Try our to souls. trade my soul for nothing, you gypsy. That's a gypsy thing. I'm gonna give you the best deal you ever had for that soul. All right, another current event. Here's the next current event. Did you guys see the Tyson, uh, Fury? No. And Francis and Gowan fight. Uh, is that the one where it ended I'm in good. a... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is that the one that ended in uh, an attempted guillotine? Can't reach. Yes, I can't, but I just didn't want to put it out. <laughs> Was that the one that ended in an attempted guillotine? 
Oh, uh, uh, uh. Dan is, this was an actual fight. Oh, so, no. So the Gypsy King is what he goes by. Gypsy he's King. He's over in Britain. Okay. And he's a professional boxer, the world champion right now. Okay. And he fought Francis Ngannou, who is a world champion who relinquished, I believe, relinquished his belt and left the UFC because his contract was up and could make more money in boxing. Okay. And he's a heavyweight. They're both heavyweights. Um, bring up a picture of them. So you know who I'm talking about. The big white guy is, I believe, Tyson Fury. There's a couple of different Furies, so I get them mixed up, especially when I'm stoned. There's a oh, couple shit. of them. His so dad much was at the, fucking, at the fucking shit and talking shit to Mike Tyson, because Mike Tyson was at, like, the face-off. And he's on Francis and Ngannou's side, and Fury's dad, Dad Fury. Was Dad Fury. Causing a <laughs> fucking scene. Oh, the Fury. He's like, I am the strongest man alive. I can fight any motherfucking man. Any man that wants well, someone it, should yell at him. get it from me. That's what Vegeta said. He's like, Isn't that <laughs> right, Tice, uh, Mike? If oh, they don't fucking have a Mike. good fight, oh, we could have a good one. Right. And Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson was like, uh, Yeah, he's been coming after oh, me for years. You can't yeah, they're years. big, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and Damn. right now the controversy is Napa it versus decision. It came down to a split decision, and anyone who watched the fight says Ngannou won. Who do you think won? I don't know. Fury. I didn't see it. Fury won. Is that Fury? Oh, okay. Yeah, the big white guy. And, like, Ngannou's in fucking shape, massive. Here he's, like, bouncing around. He's got fat like I do around the edges, but he's, like, seven foot fucking tall. Jesus. Big and he got knocked down by Ngannou, the only person to get knocked to the ground in the fight. Ngannou fucking clipped him with a perfect left hook and just, wow, and just dropped him like a ton of bricks. Oh, and he was shit. like, oh, shit. And got up, had mad respect at the end, but it went first. Uh, first judge gave it to Ngannou, and then the next two were on split decision, and it ended up becoming a uh, serious fight, which is insane. Because anybody, everybody who watched it is like, "Oh yeah, this is one hundred percent Ngannou won. He's now he beat the world champion." in boxing at his own sport, his first boxing match. This right. is Ngannou's first ever boxing match. <laughs> He's normally, like, wrestling big motherfuckers in the UFC and doing, like, jiu-jitsu. And he came in and rocked worlds. Like, changed up the game. Showed how much bullshit boxing is compared to mixed martial arts because mixed martial arts guys can go into boxing and well, it's if all they of the things. have some, like, any amount of talent in striking, they can do pretty good. Right. And, like, they don't have near the amount of time under tension in the sport of boxing and in the little nuances of boxing itself to be good at boxing. They just learn the fundamentals. But they are almost as good as the best boxers in their first couple of fights. We've seen that with even uh, Conor McGregor. He got better exponentially with the boxing matches. People weren't paying attention to the last round boxing matches. He still didn't beat the best. Right. But he did get, he, did, he would beat other high level boxers for sure. And Ngannou could beat the best just because he's a fucking animal. He's always been an animal. So that was an upset. It was crazy. If you would have, like, dude, in another dimension at the exact time that they called <gasps> Tyson Fury the winner, <laughs> in another dimension, in Ghana won. At that moment, somebody that bet on Ngannou 
that was like 700 odds to one straight up just walked away a billionaire from one fight in another dimension. (laughs) (laughs) Not this dimension, (laughs) but in a dimension (laughs) that happened. And that's nuts. Right. That's fucking nuts. And it should have happened in this one. But for some reason, this dimension's all fucked up. No. And shit that shouldn't happen does happen. Like, if you listen to any MMA, boxing fighter, all of the fucking people that do commentary on YouTube and shit about it, they're like, oh, well, Nganu was robbed because boxing's rigged. They're like, the only reason he won is because it's Tyson Fury. That's the only reason he won. And he's like an actual boxing champ. And it would ruin promotion. He lost. Oh, yeah. Pay to play. Oh, I, I, think. Think, I think at the end, the, people were so shocked that Nganu did as good as he did because everybody thought that he was not going to be able to like even last a round. And he lasted all the rounds and Beat knocked him on his ass and walked away with like zero damage and Tyson's got knots all over his face and he kept trying to clinch up with him and like use his weight which he can do with other guys in yeah, boxing like, and break. Like, just get, put like, break weight on him and make and make them have to deal with your weight just dead weight which tires the opponent out and he kept trying to do that with Nganu but Nganu's used to doing that in the MMA with other people Wrestling. as big as them yeah and jujitsu stuck trying on the to ground snap your arm on the ground by two yeah, getting thrown dude. around by other dudes your size, and so he they couldn't do he couldn't do that to him and tire him out, and the game plan was all changed up, and he even admits it at the end. He's like, "Yeah, he was a way tougher fighter than I expected. Like we did not expect him to be as good as he was." So, you rock my shit. That's a current event that just happened yesterday. The fight. All right. So. We have a hostage situation that happened, to recap, <laughs> in this area. Uh, Nganu should have won the fight, and most people agree with that. Uh, mm, we have a new house speaker. And we have a house speaker who, um, from what I understand, is the person that Magic Johnson learned how to get rid of AIDS from. What? What? <laughs> no, his name is Representative Mike Johnson. That's it. <laughs> what about my Johnson? This this Johnson has ridden in a couple of limos from the looks of it. Yeah. They were nice limos. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for your country. <laughs> Uh, kind of a Republican. Uh, he's pretty conservative. He votes the right way for our amendments on as far as Second Amendment goes and trying to make sure we have borders and whatnot. CNN hates him, so I love him. Hmm. That's always nice. Very but now that we got that going, that ties into the ongoing war. Looks as though Israel is getting their ground troops ready to go in. I think they've started going. They've already started going. Yeah, slowly but surely, taking talking decisive action. So now we have. Uh, I am talking to my mic. I hear hey, me just fine. Yeah, but you need to have your mic like pointing directly. It's a dynamic microphone. Oh it Jesus! Works. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, I uh, looks like we're gonna find out if Iran's telling the truth or not. If they're rolling in. Iran said, if you go, shit's going to get worse. Yeah, they said their hand will be forced. You'll force our hand. Motherfuckers keep coming over and insulting us on our own territory, dude. Yeah, well. Like, how are we standing for this? um, Because the guy can't stand. Yeah, he is. The guy in in charge of our armed forces, the commander in chief. Yeah. He uh, Not without a hand up that ass. Can't stand. A hand, a hand up the ass, or 
many drugs. You don't think that they fucking oh, dude, he looks so twacked out. out. Like on the ones where they they like are like, hey, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. Like he comes out and he's like, yeah, I'm the president. That's why <laughs> I think that's why he like walks off in all kinds of weird spots and shit like that is because he's like dementia ridden with mass amounts of dopamine and like no, not dopamine, like meth. Uh, yeah, dope. Well, <laughs> Dope, and I think dopamine, too, because it makes you alert. But I think they're Isn't shooting them up with feel cocktails good of all kinds of shit. I think they're also putting stem cells in it just to keep oh, them alive sure like a are. day longer. He's just a fucking walking <laughs> zombie, dude. <laughs> At least keep the skin looking like it's alive from the outside. <laughs> right. With the insects Jesus. just rotting away. It's, <laughs> it's bad. It's terrible. So bad. That is it's funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Arabs are saying. But so yeah, um, many so, countries are probably saying, "Yeah, that's that's what's going on in the world." That is current so events. Do you think if if uh, Iran, right? Yeah, says, "All right, we're going in." How they get there, I don't know. Do they have an, a navy? <clears throat> mm, they have, bro. Oh. Terrorists. Oh, it's beginning again. I don't know what that was. That was up. Maybe it was the cops. Maybe they finally shot that dude. Maybe. Oh. Pop, pop. There's sounds. You hear sounds, and they're pretty loud. With any the update on that? Door. Uh, I haven't yeah, seen look, any update check, yet. Check the update. Because uh, there was a full SWAT. When we were in the yeah, I thought I heard. Yeah, it could have been a breach. I thought I heard. I know I did hear. I heard a loud bang, but yeah. what it was, I didn't. It shoots know. everybody but the kids. Yeah, um, well, it's a brick building, so if it was a gun, it wouldn't go out. Out wouldn't be that crazy if they had those like closed up. Batting ram's pretty loud though. <sighs> but I'm saying the two would sound about the same. It ended. Um, well, of course, it ended. They weren't going to be sitting there for hours. Like, we're going in. They're not <laughs> Dude sure. was playing a video not game. Not sure if anybody's been injured, but it's over. I'm uh, guessing that it's probably... There's one way in, one way out. There was definitely reporters on the scene. How the fuck do they not know if someone was injured or not? I don't know. Literally, people would have had to come out with either parts of them missing in a body bag or full <laughs> people. Yeah, you figure someone would come out with a freaking. But I don't know. Because, like, I was just reading that the jail isn't taking people right now. It's on a red flag or some shit like that. Yeah, they got red flag or red so light. So they can't take anybody because they're, like, understaffed or some shit. So no, maybe saying maybe the they went in there and they're like, all right, full. give us the gun and here's a court date because we got nowhere to fucking put you. No, because what they're saying with the red light thing is that the police, when they arrest them, that they sit there for like 10 to 12 hours before they either get released or they get there. So, yeah. and it depends on the severity. Like, they'll release a lower level criminal from jail and put that guy in. That's how they do it. They're like swapping out by severity. So, like, if you got busted for stealing, stealing drugs or something like that, they'd be like, all right. Fuck out of here. You need to be so put this guy in. <laughs> Just Yeah. That's what they do. And then they wanna charge us more taxes. How about you just spend your money better? What about all the money you've had all this time? Money was, times were good at one point. Why didn't you expand and do all that shit when times were good? Why didn't you put a little nest egg away? Yeah. <laughs> Because you had an unlimited source of money, so I say we stop that unlimited source of money. No, you don't get no more. Say no to uh, Prop 1. You don't want you don't want a tax for the jail? Nope. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of how there's quite a massive money that's so unaccounted if, for. Here, guess what? I guarantee you, just like they did with the library and the school that didn't pass over in Idaho. Miraculously, they found $3 million and were able to keep it open. Yeah, it's crazy. When, when they had no other fucking choice and they couldn't get free money from the people. Right. 
using scare tactics such as red light for jails saying that they're over capacity and understaffed. Fuck you. Figure it the fuck out. The rest of us have to. You yeah. know what? I'll handle it myself. Find a fucking investor. Yeah. There's people who that's what their investments are, are prisons. Yeah, and if somebody pulls a gun on somebody and takes them hostage, you can kill him. We don't need to put him in a fucking jail cell. That's cool. He's obviously fucking out of his mind. And a danger to society. Society. Get rid of him. Old West style. So we have enough space for jails. <laughs> I know, I'm fucking morbid, but it is Halloween. But it is Halloween. <laughs> Very nice. Shit. You know. Gotta make a spoon. Bought some goddamn candy. Oh. Why didn't you? Damn. I have liquid a... candy, and I have some candy. If you want a candy, I don't want it's any a fucking fifty-fifty chance <laughs> that it's a delicious candy or a really shitty candy. <laughs> no thanks, we're good. You should be passing those out, Halloween. <laughs> Here you go. Just a bag full of the Band-Aid ones, the old bandage flavored. Beans is every package. Pick them out, all the oh, single colors for talk you. Talk about that. It turns my stomach. <laughs> Dude, it is so bad. It was so bad. It was, yeah. So those bad. were the freaking worst. All right. So, is that three current? Did we That's... talk about Dude and how he's a, a uber religious zealot and um, a psychopath? <laughs> yeah. I said that CNN hates him. I mean, that's a given. Yeah, but not just CNN. <laughs> Um, He's not super religious. Like, super conservatives hate he is him. Super con- no. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't get the that same group of like people. He only got Matt like Gates two or three. Yeah. yeah, the people that wouldn't vote for him. That that he was. Anyway, what I'm saying is he's an ultra conservative, and um, but he's not a mega Republican. No, that's exactly what the frame moment is because he's a law- he's a constitutional lawyer and he backed Trump when. Uh, Trump was uh, trying to overturn the votes. Yeah. Well, he said something, and they said, well, didn't you try to help him? And then the lady said to shut up to the reporter, and they made that hmm. fucking first-page news. Did you turn the eyes on on the the evil child? Oh, I did not know the evil child had eyes. Oh, shit. Check that out. Bailey. Really? There you go. Dude, anyway. <laughs> right. But I know. Oh, maybe. Huh? Um, for- yes. Hit the button. Like yep, an outdoor yeah. setting for that. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I got to flip so when it's inside, the front end gets hot. Kind of like the projector. So what you do is you take that thing that you can put to a post and hang it. Or you unscrew it, flip it upside down, and use it as a rocker to shoot it up and keep that hot part from being flat on the ground. I just didn't have time. Well, I had time. I was lazy, and I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I got so overwhelmed trying to set up the set, and so I made you guys do it. Ah. Yeah. Worth it. Mostly him. He did most of this. So good set designer. Really good, yeah. Yeah. Did all right. Did all right. Slapping up the webs. Yeah, did all right. I'm going to have to, like, take all of this down. Ain't hard. Good. I just leave it up. It's Halloween. Yeah. Take it down on November 1st. I guess a couple of days. That's true. Like, I don't know about that thing hanging up. The background there. Yeah, wake up at night and that thing's going to be floating at you. Uh, right. That's all right. I've been waking up with bruises on my Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... Wow. Yeah. Um, the fact that I woke up Monday, went to where? work. I had ears. They're starting to go away. I can count. Monday, yeah. They were like. I think he's just in his sleep, like. Ah. 
I might have, or I might have like spun around. <laughs> he got fucking... visited by the scary movie ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I sleep on a couch, right? Like I have my own place, but instead of a bed, I like a couch. I like to snuggle into the couch, and so sometimes I flop my arm over the end, like over the back, and I'm I'm thinking I might have just like thought I was fighting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Onto the the, ca- the I don't... best part of that is that like in your dream it's the most amazing fi- fight scene ever. But like in real life, if someone <laughs> were to see you having that dream, it'd look like epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> he did the mesh. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly it. The fucking crazy. It's insane. That's awesome. So yeah, I kept like waking up. And one day I woke up and go to work, and I have like one bruise. I see. Tuesday, I go in, I now I got another bruise. Wednesday, I go in, I got another bruise. I think I took... He's getting raped by a ghost, dude. It's only it lo- on the one It's arm. only logical condition. Get over <laughs> It's on the one arm. I have been doing a lot of curls with this arm. Curls. <laughs> <laughs> it's the arm that's just taking and going... <laughs> you ever see that movie oh, Lady in the hey. Water? You think it could be from Water. sitting on my it's arm? The M Night Shyamalan oh, movie, yeah, and it's, it's there's this so guy who bad. works out only one arm. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking <laughs> one yoked arm. <laughs> Isn't he an arm wrestler or something like that? No, he's like he's like an experiment or something. I can't remember how they tied it in, but he was useful to the story. I've useful. seen it. It was a fucking horrid movie. It Most was... M Night Shyamalan movies are pretty bad. Absolutely They're like long, terrible. and then at the end, you're like, what? the fuck Why did, did I, I just sit watch? through this whole shit that? he's got every now and then he's got some good ones though the village sucked yeah but signs was okay signs was fucking off it was uh six cents was good <clears throat> the happening was pretty good <clears throat> i liked him also like devil was pretty good i don't was... wait that might not have been m night Shyamalan. i think it was though <laughs> I'm not shameless limiting down. Uh, what's our next uh hobbies? No, it's many cards. Oh. Oh, you switched it up. Yeah. And I even had like a <laughs> specific Wimplos news segment section. Just for, for you, you for the live. So I guess we can you can choose that. to do that if you want. And we can do that. And then you can you can pontificate your little heart off on a fucking okay. subject. All right, sounds good. I'll give you the subject. <laughs> no, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Read All right. from this script. Right. <laughs> Read these talking points like a good shill. America. All, All right. right. So, main so, card. What do you got for main, main card? All right. Um, I don't have a main card subject. I just told I told you I have no subjects. I just have the form. Uh, <laughs> you said you had the subject. I forgot. We changed the main card thing. What What do we do for main card? So main again? card is it, because you're terrible at your own ideas. No, I'm just. It's a setup. <laughs> it I just is. want to remind the viewers out there. That's right. what it is. Um. So main card now is just a further discussion on one of the current event topics or uh, another news segment and then delve deeper into it. Ah. Um. Yeah. Such as the asteroids floating uh, around yes, the ring. Let's talk about around that. Uranus. Let's talk about, let's talk about, did you know that there is a army a reptilian aliens that, <laughs> and they guide and they guard the the Kuiper Belt, and we're not allowed to go outside of the Kuiper Belt. <laughs> well, I believe they're called the the Dracos. The, the Kuiper Belt. We've the gone. To, we've gone to the Kuiper Belt. No, but the we, we but the we, but the the spacecraft that was there shut down because of these aliens. Oh, so yes, no, I know what you're talking <laughs> about. You fucking Wi-Fi stealing son of a bitch. 
So no, you're talking about when the New Horizons mission yeah. went out, and then there is a shiny object out in the Kuiper It's an belt. asteroid. And, well, they thought it was an asteroid, but it's a shiny thing. And, yeah, and it does weird and, stuff. And it was spinning in a very fast manner and in a opposite rotation of everything else. And so when they went to go and check it out, all of a sudden its system rebooted and went into like safe mode. Right. And then came back on when it passed that and didn't get any data and information on that object. Because it's an alien craft. Most likely. It's the reptilians. Um, yeah. It's They're either, mean. They're like 20 feet tall. You know yeah. that there's like 20 different species of alien, right? Indeed. There's the, the grays, mm-hmm. the tall whites, the uh, reptilians, Kajit. the... Um, uh, so sorry, people. I know you're out there listening, and I apologize. Um... Pleiadians, sorry. Pleiadians. Yeah, there's the Pleiadians. There's the Anunnaki. Don't forget yeah, I was about the Anunnaki. What the Anunnaki. The the Anunnaki. Yeah, but they're considered like the creator god race. Like they're aliens. That's a different. If, even if that's even in a whole different sphere of it's thought like, process. They're like the, the Gandalf realm. So it's in a different. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever read like uh, any of J.R.R. Tolkien's um, unpublished works? Like, it explains that Gandalf and uh, the other wizards are Banging essentially, like, a part of this celestial race of beings that are, are supposed to, other. like, balance out the good in the world and shit. They're banging each other. They're what? all five guys, dude. Yeah, and they're banging each other. Five guys banging in front of the F-Shack. <laughs> dude, it's pretty weird because, like, you saw that. They did it to Harry Potter's wizard, too. They all bang each other. Oh, yeah, they turned. Turn them all gay. Turned Albus gay, yeah. That was kind of. They also turned fucking <laughs> Dumbledore gay. Or, That's what I was saying, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, uh, the other one, Gandalf. And him gay, too. They did. In the New Rings of Power? I didn't get that at all. Dude, didn't? How did you? They barely showed him. <laughs> straight up. Just like, the whole time an, they showed him, he was, like, crying. And straight up in around, an episode, like, yeah. And then he was, like, on his knees. He's like, please. I mean, fucking <laughs> 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 You gotta stop watching shit and then throwing a porn hub in between for a quank. Because you're starting to mind meld everything into one thing. Like, you start off, like, I was watching this show, and then uh, somehow you <laughs> mind meld into porn hub. The girls never came. The girls <laughs> never came, but I sure did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Incorrect. Sir. Uh, Sir. That's amazing. They've made everything gay. Did you see that uh that one chick complained so much about her role in Snow White? And everyone else complained about the new Snow White movie? And how it's supposed to be not dwarves anymore, and like seven miscellaneous yeah. folks. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they got so much backlash that they just released a photo of the remaking, and they put CGI dwarves in it that look terrible. Not well done. Oh, at all. Damned if you do, up. damned if you don't. And then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, sucks so about cancel like, culture, they're man. Refilming, Once it they're refilming a bunch of shit. Uh, well, uh, Daily Wire they is did. doing their yeah, they little Snow White thing. Did their, they're doing yeah. their own Snow White, the original, and they're in a big fight with Disney right now because of it. Because Disney's like, that's our show, except for Let's it's. Do it. I think it's public domain. I, I don't know. Yeah, if it's the, public domain. depending on it, they got to change the names. Yeah, or it's something. an original story. Yeah, I don't think it has a patent or whatever or copyright. Yeah, but I think even if it did, I think it's public domain. It's hey, been Snow White remake years. is absolutely like bottom side of top searches of Snow White. <laughs> yeah, I Rachel, don't give it shit. Oh yeah, holy Snow shit! White. Yeah, it's bad, dude. Oh, that's concept art though. That's not like official. Oh. Well, everyone is saying like it's a 
That's what they're fucking gonna make hilarious. them look like. Hilarious. Hmm. It's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah, they're not gonna. That's just a weird little. What? So they're getting rid of the diverse cast. Eyes. Putting in dwarves, <clears throat> but I bet you somehow they'll make the dwarves gay. The, it's probably, the, yeah. the people that are playing the dwarves will get zapped and magical powers will happen and then they'll turn into like the CGI dwarf. So if I say the word <laughs> pussy, what do you think of? Do you, are you saying that with a B or a P? Pussy. Pussy? Pussy. Pussy, I think, I don't know. It's kind of a cross between Damn, Gary Busey and Little Pussy. you old as shit, dog. You don't even know lingo. I don't know no. what the fuck that is either. No, <laughs> I have no I idea. Pussy. Ooh, dog. No, pussy. But pussy. What? What? So there's just this new trend where they put pussy at the end of anything. So like uh car pussy. Car pussy? Yeah. And they literally it's like it's a whole subreddit of how they break down how the cars from the movie Cars have a car pussy. And like the anatomy of a car pussy. I like, mean, there's full I have no idea. Yeah. I'm fucking lost. Dude, it wow. is. There's, like, full, like, people spend their days you, fucking making out full schematic. No, I watch people that talk about people that are doing this. I'm, like, adjacent adjacent. You know? I'm not even the first guy looking up the thing and reading them. I'm the guy watching someone make fun of the things that he read and looked up. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes. It's like fourth party, bro. It's not even third party. It's fourth party. I'm so adjacent to everything. I'm not the one. I'm not. <laughs> <all> the... <laughs> don't, don't look at me like that. So, yeah. There's there's all this, and there's for like everything. They're trying to put it for everything. They're putting like like pussy for everything. Zussy. Yeah. Like Zeus pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, like, you're a pussy. No, that would be Zach Ussie. <laughs> That'd be Zach Ussie. Zach Ussie. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. But no, Zach <laughs> would have... They would worse. say that Zach has a bussy because I have a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a bussy. <laughs> and I would say Dude, that I don't you call... fucking look at the definition of B U S S Y. I'm Jesus scared. Christ. It, I w <laughs> no, wait, wait. Can we put it beyond him? Is he smart enough to think of head to get this whole story just for us to do this? <laughs> Search it, motherfucker. <laughs> I better not get some kind of virus. The pussy virus? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy is a matchup of words of boy and pussy used for romance <laughs> anus. While it is not clear who the original creator so was, gay dude's butthole is actually a pussy. The word was coined <laughs> okay, and primarily okay, okay. used by members of the LGBTQ plus community and has been used since 1992. Yeah, that is fucking... <laughs> Bussy. <laughs> Can I get that used in a, a word? A gay butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get, get that, that in a, a sentence? sentence? <laughs> um, he took the, the bick the, and stuck man, it up his pussy. <laughs> the prisoner said what? to his cellmate, please don't, not my pussy. <laughs> no. And the prisoner said to that cellmate, that pussy mine. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable being sandwiched between you two right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, still more tamed than I just, freaking. I just uh, thought I would. Queer. I would have to bring that to your attention. Seems where were we going with yeah, all really this bussy, bussy talk? Yeah. What's going on? Where did I it come? I just said, if I say bussy, what does that mean to you? Well, now it means nair. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that is definitely a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pussy indeed. Oh, man. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> terrible. Oh, Fucking terrible. God. It's All just right. like a flashing image. 
All right. Wow. Let's go into hobbies real quick. Your hobby this week. So exciting. Explain. Exciting news for the Dream Theater community. The long-awaited return of Mike Portnoy on drums and writing with Dream Theater has begun. So that is an album slash tour that I am most certainly going to be looking forward to. Hey, Dude, I'm stoked. Who's back? I'm stoked. Guess who's back? Back again. Like, Mike Mangini was cool and Mike all, Portnoy. but I think that the, the lyrics especially hey, went back. kind of... Are they playing like, new shit? Yeah, they're they're gonna oh, go into the shit. studio. Yeah, okay, they're okay. they're writing a new album. Nice. So, and Mike Portnoy, that's what he wanted to do originally back in like 2012 or whenever it was. Like he was like, I just want to take a few years off. Like we've been doing this for 25 plus years. Like I just need a break. And they're like, dude, we're kind of taking off right now. We'd rather not. So that's why they parted ways. But I am stoked. But now they're bussies back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're an asshole. Dope, 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 dope. Straight up pussy pussy. talk. <laughs> what about cool. you, uh, D Dub? Anything with remote control cars, real cars? No, uh, well, real vehicles. Yes, I uh, put a <laughs> custom-made drive shaft in my Concho's truck, the F one fifty. Nice. Upgraded U joints on it. Bigger, bigger U joints. It's all powder coated black and nice and shiny. And pretty jealous. Want one for my car really bad. Yeah. But uh, no, I just did that. Added a switch to the air compressor for the train horn that I installed. Mm-hmm. So that you're not driving and all of a sudden it's like, because like, <laughs> <laughs> it's right behind the seat, the compressor is. So. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, I just kind of tinkered with that this week. We can. That's about it. Not a whole lot. Lots of video games. Nice. I gotta get on the the haunting. There's a camo you can get. Time's running out. Yeah, no. For one thousand souls collected. And I bought the freaking battle pass. I think I got I got I've, a pretty good jump on it. I think I got like two hundred something. Oh. So. There's also other things you can get as well. Yeah, yeah. lots of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> like some tier skips and stuff. You good. don't have your battle pass then. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, no, that's about it. Not a whole lot. What about you? What's going on? I took photos. I went on a hike yesterday. A hike to take some photos. There's people rock climbing. Cool. Dog oh, kept barking on me. How big is a rock climbing wall that you found? It's pretty big. It's not small. Would you say twenty feet? I would say like maybe eighty to a hundred feet. Oh, from the wall. Yeah, that's a real rock climbing wall. Oh, okay. It's the real deal. And then there's another one that isn't like a wall, but it's. A Are bunch you talking of over there by rocks. Boulder Beach? Boulder Beach. Yeah, you drive down North Foothills. Up, uh, it's up River Drive. Yeah, that turns into North Foothills. And then there's like this Fredericks Park or something like that. Yeah, that's... there's a rock climbing thing. Yeah, so the beach at the river on the other side. That's called Boulder Beach. Oh, well, I ain't been there, but I've been to that, and there's like fucking a uh, thousand bike trails back there. Yeah, they it's also a disc, all the course, way uh, disc, uh, disc golf course. Um, to Beacon Hill, from according to the thing that I saw, and so there's like a a gravel parking lot on one side. And I yeah. parked in the actual parking lot next to a little bathroom thing that's there. Okay, and uh, then I went past the rock hiking wall and back into the back and then climbed up some boulders and shit and took some photos. Didn't really get what I was trying. I was trying to like see the river and shit, but there's big ass trees in the way of the boulders I was on. You'd have to go up the rock climbing wall to be as tall as the tree. Right. Over. Um, and people were rock climbing and had a dog there that kept chasing me. They were on the rock climbing wall and kept trying to talk to their dog to stop chasing me. And I was like, it's fine. And they're like, no, it's not. I'm like, no, it's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> I'll take dog, him home. Yeah, your take dog him bites home. me. I'm gonna deal with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it attacking you or like? No, no, no. no. Yeah, she was just like just... barking, like excited, like, "Oh, there's bears in here! Alert, alert! There's people! There's people!" All right. And then came up and was like trying to get petted and barking at the same time, just all <laughs> excited, <laughs> whole bodies fucking <laughs> chucking back and forth. Yeah, it's like a little pit bull, so they're probably more thinking that I'm. And I'm like, no, I'm fine with dogs. Yeah. I have no problem. I'm like, I'll be fine. And if we're not, I'll kill it. So <laughs> okay, that's just did. what it is. After it oh, nice. breaks my arm. Yeah, so I decided to get out of the house yesterday. I was laying here. I was like, dude, I can start getting out of here. Oh, nice time. As it drops into freezing temperatures. I like the cold. You're and there's less people out in the cold. So fax it. Nicer because I don't like this to be true. around. So. Yeah, but what sucks is some of those people who are left out in the cold are not the people you want to deal with. They yeah, but I'm more to likely to know that that is the that kind of person, and then I can be hostile <laughs> immediately. Instead of, like, having to they got my out. purse. I don't know I you. First, ask questions later. Yeah, exactly. Mm, they you call me of, Rusty Shackleford. You can kind of tell. There's like. <laughs> There's two kinds of people out in the cold. The ones that are all bundled up in nice clothes, and then the ones that are out there because they have to be. Right. And you can tell the difference. Yes, you can. So it's easier to tell the difference not on a hot day. Everybody looks like shit on hot days. Yep, that's you Gotta get facts. down to the bare minimum. Too hot. So, so all um, right. yeah, that was that. Was that. that was... Took some nice photos. Good time. Gonna go back. And actually, like, hike those trails out. Shit ton of them. Nice. Bring a map. So is that... I think we covered hobbies. So now we go into Misty? Oh, um, now we go into Wimplow's News. Oh. I'm not gay. Dun right. dun dun. Next to uh, next next thing. All right, read the correction Fake down news. there. Fake news. Read the correction <laughs> down there. There is a fucking that is a fact check <laughs> down there that tells so you the true, true story. That tells you the true story. It's true. You can you read it yourself. You got eyes. I've anyway. never been to college. I've never been to jail. My butthole's as tight as a dolphin's. Anus, it's been watertight. <laughs> watertight. <laughs> you know water Ooh. gets in their butt holes, right? No, it's watertight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, um, so, yeah, that's the news. Is, is that your news? That's All right. News. Well, now it's missed you. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what have we got? All right. You said you had a good one before we started trying to do the live <clears throat> yes. live cast and then the failed live cast and now the recording. I found, cast. You know I what that stands ones. for? No. no. Okay. I, I have no idea. Oh, All right. oh, glory. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I All right, this is for that. soldiers. There is a glory hole open in uh, Midtown Savannah. That's Georgia. Georgia. Oh, by the way, okay. real quick, uh, I found this. We're doing this missed you section based off of the number one spookiest ta- city in all of America. Awesome. Word. Halloween version. Probably should have started <laughs> off with that, but okay. Just remembered. I'm stoned. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh. All right. <clears throat> so swing by. Quick in and out. Polish the knob for you. Never see your face. <laughs> <laughs> now that makes sense, huh? Dang, that's just straightforward. I mean, yeah. I hope you get what you want. Uh, there you go. They're going to tickle Great. your butthole. Yeah. Best of luck. With their Soldiers, tongue. welcome. You know, I, I wonder where, isn't Fort Benning in Savannah? That's where they train for like the Army basic training? I think so. I think so. I mean, yeah. they probably refer, that's probably where they're referring to like, probably, soldiers. Yeah, what that's what it's down there. Yeah. Yeah. So they're letting women in the army now, though. <clears throat> this one here. So, 
So she could be glory hole in you. Could be a, there could be a woman. It's 50 50 chance. Yeah. It's more like an 80 20 chance, but uh, yeah, we'll right. believe 50 50 for the hope. All right. On to the next. Big Apple email or mail. What the hell are you pulling up here? Okay. Big Apple. Know. Think about <laughs> what. Uh, this apple bottom jeans. Remember that long one that I read last time? That just yeah. was nothing. No, I, I've read out to Scout's nothing. Scout's honor, not this time. All right. <clears throat> Firstly, you cannot put together a relatively decent sentence. I cannot hold a conversation with you. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Hit me on Snapchat, Ms. Brooke B. Bad of wanting conflict, eager to argue or fight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Fight me, bitch. <laughs> so, I... Big I didn't realize that's a yeah. uh, that's fetch. Oh, I, you know what I thought it was? I think it's uh, someone visiting from New York. Big Apple. Oh, that's how I read yeah. it, or I understood it based off the context or context. It's a big yeah. ass okay. female, big ass female. That, that could be wants too. Wants to fight. That could be too. Okay. He's like, like so. Fight, so what fight, I, I like that that sounds better. Like, are you gonna fight? Is she like one of those chicks who's gonna like fight? And fuck you at the same time, like that's that's dangerous territory. She's gonna fight man. first and then fuck. She like, first wants you to. Degrade how do you go? About, it when she how do people you? with that can't go go about that? Like, be like, so we've been together a couple of years, and uh, I just I got this document. I'd like you to sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Well, you see, I got this this fetish, and I kind of want to beat the shit out of you. So I just but it's a you, female doing it, so of course. But I just okay. need you to, to you sign here, so that way, when you turn around, get pissed off three months from now, and call the cops on me and tell them about you agree this. To this. Yes, I I just need this. Like, you think that's how that goes? Just sign a waiver. Yeah, sign this. So I can <laughs> beat you as I fuck you. So, <laughs> not from experience or anything, but. <laughs> How it normally This is where we need the fact check says completely from experience. This, so how it would normally go <laughs> is and I'm just assuming here <laughs> is you would beat them and then hand them the paperwork. <laughs> no. And then be like, You're gonna fucking sign this. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. And they go, I don't want it. And be like, do you want another fucking beating then? Is that what you want? What is that? Uh, YouTube, this is just, uh, we are just triaging. This is, role play. This is <laughs> oh just my triaging God. a film Sign that we're talking waiver. about. It's a horror film, Halloween, hardy, har, har, har. Just a triage. Don't demonetize yeah. uh, us or kick it, us it's, off. It's just ideas. We're coming up with a screenplay. Yeah. It's On the movie. spot. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, we're good. Acting. Yes. In, in fact, we're going to probably pitch it to the Wrong Turn franchise and see if they want to make number 12 or 100 million, whatever number they're on. I thought we were sending it to Now Bob. Mm. Maybe Infinity. Uncle Tom. Or is it Uncle Tom? And who's, so who's here we have we another one. Who's the monk, uncle we met From last a week? Uncle Terry? Is that town called is? Savannah. Uncle Terry. Oh, Uncle Terry. Yeah, not Uncle Tom. Uncle Terry. Came into town. Just came into town looking for someone to show me the big size area to take a swing and load off. I love to catch new things. Just pop a fishing one on purpose? What's going on here? What? Is this fishing? No. I mean, <laughs> I mean there's rivers I, yeah, and shit right here. It is fishing. It you is think, fishing. You think they're, that... they're putting their dong of digital data out there saying someone come touch it? They That's want you is. to come and sit on their lap while they swing. Hate this. No, I, I, just, I don't see how you don't understand it. What don't you understand? Let's break this down. Analyze this. Analyze and interpret. This is this is hilarious. How this has Looking become to is the way we're having to fucking swing and a load figure off. out the, Trying to the find sense that it makes. Somebody to get a load off from. Yes, he's he's trying to get a load. I love to catch new things. That sperm on his mouth, tongue, something, chest. Well, he likes to catch new. Pussy, for his <laughs> yak, <laughs> swing. He's and he's a swinger. Is what he's trying to say is like, hey, if you, you and your boyfriend want me to join, it's cool. What I'm he's down. saying is he'll give you a reach around. That's in Savannah, Georgia. Number H-J, one, H J B J or Z J. What's a Z J? You have to ask. 
You can't afford Lord. it. <laughs> All right. So that concludes that segment. So here's a new segment. Uh-oh. All right. Uh-oh. I'm in danger. New segment is... Would you? Maybe. All right, so this is like a would you rather. I'm going to give you a scenario, two of them. You have to pick between (laughs) one (laughs) or two. Which one would you rather more than the other? Does it make sense? Okay. The Z. Uh, yeah, I understand the concept, yes. Okay. Wind blow. You can answer too if you'd like. Right. Would you rather suck <laughs> a million pies out of the crust or only eat pie crust itself? For a million pies. I'm probably going for the filling. So you have to suck it out. Yeah, see, that is an issue. You can't but use I'm not, I, any... Pie crust isn't my... Or you can use crust any utensil you want Flicky. or anything, but all you can eat is a pie crust for a million pies. No, it can be or you have to eat a million innards of a pie and suck them out. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather do that. All right, you're going for suck them out? Yeah. All right. You heard him. He'll suck them out. <laughs> All right, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, eat just the crust, because the crust would have had soaked berries or apple nope. pie in it. Yep. Nope, nope, it's dry just crust. It's dry, dry flaky crust. crust. <laughs> crust. <laughs> God damn it. But you can use a fork. You don't have to suck it. Dry. <laughs> Couldn't you just choke and die? It's like eating a mouthful of saltine milk. crackers. You can have milk. Lots of milk with it. Milk and just crust. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Sucking up a million pies. Dude, I would suck the million pies. Hundred percent. All right. No shit. Hundred percent. Suck the million pies. Drop into a vat of it and suck it out like dude, I would fucking dude suck from out a million pies <laughs> the beer fest or whatever. Fest or whatever. Um, okay. Second scenario. Second scenario. <laughs> All right. Would you spend one week with Bussy, <laughs> the Nair Man, oh. and have to hang out with him and do everything he asks you to do other than sexual favor? Anything. Dress up, anything. Go to wherever he wants you to go. Hang out with whoever he wants you to hang out with. You just don't have to suck him off. <laughs> All right? Or Unless you want to do it for your country. <laughs> <laughs> or, or would you rather swim in the ocean 300 miles from any shore for 12 hours. I think I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. 300 miles away from anywhere. Yeah, someone will come and pick you up in a day. In a day. Got to float. Yeah, well, I said 12 hours. No, you got to stay moving because that's going to be cold water. That's not going to be the warmest. Naked. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care if someone sees my little dick if I don't have to spend my day with an air boy. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what other I things will come and eat your little dick. I'll take my chances. Because something shark? tells me between the two, I always have to worry about something little coming in and eat my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't specify that he couldn't rape you. So. <laughs> Jesus. If he wants to take it, I got to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They don't like that word. I don't know why. They, I can't understand. But, uh, I can't imagine. <laughs> it's a word. Words are words. It's when very, are we fucking. It's very descriptive. We should never be censoring words. Though. We shouldn't. But unfortunately, here in the United States of America, we have a lot of 
not so thoroughbreds. Correct. But why should I censor for those thorough, non thoroughbreds? Because whores. they are very loud. And unfortunately, oh, loud. people wanted to just appease them rather than ride tell their wow. To... They ride their loudness to fame. Yeah. Ride their loudness to fame. I hope that upsets them. Not cutting it. Not, Not cutting it. it. <laughs> America. America. Um, so. Last one. So last one. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <Eat up. laughs> he never. Who? Wait, hold up. Bussy. It was bussy. He said or it was either bussy hang or out. hang out or, or swim in the middle. Hours. For a week, you just went you, from twelve hours no, to a no, week. No, 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 the no. swimming's twelve hours. Swimming is twelve okay, hours. Okay, okay. A week with Naked bussy for twelve hours in the ocean, three hundred miles from shore, by yourself for twelve hours. Then a boat comes and picks you up. From that location in 12 hours. If I'm so you don't want to go dead. too far. I would probably float. If I knew how to float well, I would Or do spend it. a week with Bussy and not have to fuck him. Or get so you just have What to if it's just, if, is it just hanging out with a dude, like chilling? You're hanging or out with that dude. Are you trying to, whatever he wants are you, you trying to, do, to say he's trying to let you, let, like, he wants to be able to nair you, dress you, yeah, all that stuff? Whatever that. he wants yes. to do. Yes. Film with you. Use you as a human model. Yes. yes. Anything. Make up your face. Like no. maybe do a YouTube tutorial on how to use a butt plug. Yeah. In person. Yeah, I'll just swim in the ocean. I'll chill with the sharks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking kill me. Yeah. A hundred percent. I'm going naked. <laughs> yeah. Right. Naked ocean. I'll take for my sure. chance. I'll take my chance. I'll punch a fucking shark, dude. <laughs> just because I don't know if I'd like. I just don't want to be that life. exposed. <laughs> right. I'm not trying to spread my cheeks for Playgirl magazine. <laughs> And I mean full spread. Full spread. All right. All right. Well, that's a fun segment. That Yeah. So that's a new segment we'll do from now on. I'll come <laughs> up with ones. Those ones that I just came up with off the I top of tell. my head. I could tell. Yeah. But I will come up with ones over the week that I'm are scared. frighteningly fantastic. <laughs> All right. Next segment is... What the fuck, Lazy? All right. All right. So, I don't really have too much for this segment. <laughs> what the fuck, Lazy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The thing I so it's not just a clever name. (laughs) 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 Right. What I do have, I don't know if I could show you. I'm not going to see if you have hemorrhoids again, dude. It's please blindsided last (laughs) time. (laughs) Blindsided. Deep into the eye. Um, did you meet Uncle Terry? No, he wasn't here for the he last... He was not here. So that was my idea, is I was going to introduce you... Oh, yes. Introduce... <laughs> to Uncle Terry. Who the fuck is Uncle Terry? Who... He's oh, now... fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! Upset. He's upset <laughs> that he ruined his orgasm. I think you've already shown me this. Nope. I don't know if I have. No, but... let's just bring up Uncle Terry. If Uncle I had to Terry, suffer. And it Terry, is quite horrifying Terry. to stick with the theme of this podcast. It is. It is horrifying. Imagine. All right. It's Fucking not, RPC. It's real bad. Uncle Terry's. And... Uncle Terry's back in town. <laughs> real bad. bad. <laughs> All right. So... I don't even know what question to ask about this. What am I about to get myself uh, here, into? So, um, I'll, fill some you background. In, I'll fill you in some background. A little bit of context. Um, this is straight up from YMH, as always. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. there's that. Um, if you were actually participating in watching our podcast to help our subs- you know, subscriptions and views and whatnot, you would have known from watching... Put the, stuff in your butt? The, whoa. Whoa. I would not have you known that. You would have known that. You would have known that. <laughs> what have you been no, watching, you man? Seen. You were saying it's just it's okay. Just 
just don't just don't ask why why this is big time that's like burt energy yeah it's, oh <laughs> wait who's terry this ah, is a yes, this go. is a guy that cost us our McDonald's sponsorship. Yeah, this is the guy right here. <laughs> this guy's pretty awesome. He kind of reminds me. Uh, of, I sure have of. seen Terry. Hey guys, it's Pete again, yeah. and I'm here to do a little video. I wanted to use what this the uh, fuck? that I bought, this new one, and I thought I'd try that in. And then I also wanted yeah. to try this double-ended um, fuck sleeve that has left these, hand. Like, massive bullets in them. I haven't used it, of course, and then I went to look and. They didn't send any batteries. So what bad, the bad, fuck? Bad, bad. Um, I'm not you just stroking it right now? Part, but <laughs> Can you jump to, uh, <laughs> to just Oh my god. Cool. But first, I'm going to try and get this. No, dude. And then um, turn it on, and it's even got this cool. Little, I could see. Um, I could see Bert doing it. That's what I'm saying. Control. I feel like he would totally do that. Yeah, yeah, nice. like totally do this. If the machine story hadn't gone viral, this is exactly what I'd be doing. It would be, right? No, it's not. You would do this? He's just sending it. <laughs> and it's got a nice built-in cock frame, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Oh. oh. It does have kind of a good size head on it. So it may take me a minute. Look at his eyes. Yeah. Oh, that is some real. focus. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had anything in my butt since my last uh, butt toy video. <laughs> <laughs> haven't had anything in my, in my butt since the last time I've had something in my butt. <laughs> yeah, What's funny about breathe. that is I believe that is exactly what I said. Oh my god, no. Dude, that is a great, million dollars. That is a great your mom's house challenge. Where's the where's the cutscenes? That's the bedong. That is very bedong. Oh, okay. I know what you're asking for. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> That is such a good edit. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is so bad. Oh no, he's all fucking standing up, moving around. So like happy in those videos. So, <laughs> so I feel like those were probably done on VHS. Dude, I love <laughs> those then, chairs like, that they got. They, uh, yeah, I want those. Just, we I need know, those. Probably Went by those. Around or something. Yeah, and I remember. Put yeah, and look here. how well this lit. Like found. that's daylight. Straight so his windows that's open. Also, that is. You would say that's at least. <laughs> He's oh, just there. Well, here's happy as all hell, dude. Look at first, and then somehow we found one that was like. Way older than this, but yeah. Boy, I found an older one that's just better. <laughs> and, and I'm here to do a little video. Oh, no, the same one. Okay. I wanted to use this butt vibrating toy that I bought, this new one, and I thought I'd try that in. And then I also you imagine to try this double you finding out this is your Uncle Terry. Try it. Yeah. So bad. Like, he's no. Right. He's <laughs> yeah. And he's not hiding. Again, this is like daylight. He's not using, right. this isn't nighttime. The curtains are drawn. I'm pretty edit. sure his feet are like up on yeah. the desk, too. Yeah. Open in one hand. Yeah. No, not that Whoa. edit. Whoa. Yeah, it's he's like, Whoa. It's pretty tight. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What are you he's showing us? <laughs> Doesn't he have something in his ass right he's now? He's using too? the fuck he's sleeve and he's got the butt plug. Yes. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Oh. He ruined his orgasm. Oh. <laughs> and like, <laughs> damn it. On can't even dude. Face. Look, he's trying to see his face. Listen, he's trying to see his face. Damn it. <laughs> Jesus you just, Christ. You don't want to, and then you do. You pop too fast. Well, no, I think we did this. Oh, we cut his head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we? Oh, because yes. it was a wide shot. It was. It was a wide <laughs> no, shot dude. Before. And I think I remember. Gosh. So he was. He, this is something he's been doing for a while. Looks great there. Yeah, let's see. Hi there. Hi. Uh, this looks like Pete. some old Pete school fucking. Going to be demonstrating yeah. a new toy that I got. Oh no! no just go to the edit. We're wasting time. This is the edit. <laughs> and a flashlight. Anywhere. No, the edit's where he's talking on the cool. news or Zinger. something. That's the cool thing. Yeah. Look at that yeah, fucking stash, dude. Yeah. Oh my Holy God, look shit. how old that thing is. That's like the first flash I've ever made. That's yeah, the first flash I've ever Holy shit. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> I wonder if he hated the fact that that's supposed to be a vagina. I know. I like, mm. Look how I'm almost afraid. To Jesus put that Christ! On my you know what I mean? Because it's well, twisted right off. Yeah. Massive. That could really rip it off. 
Gentlemen, it's a priceless. And oh, no. I just had a really good time. That's so bad. Yeah, he's just. Yeah. That's his this jam. This is what he does. I gave him 100, he gave me 20. Oh, there you go, right here. Once we got inside the club, we looked at the money, and the friends that we're meeting was like, no, this is fake. <laughs> After only a mile, the meter was like four times what it should have been. That's him. So right away, I just told the driver, just stop, we'll get out and pay. Not a big deal. We pull out a 50, and then he starts giving us change. One of the bills that he gave us was a 10. Um, that was a false note. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God, it's the same guy. Oh, <laughs> that's such a good cut. <laughs> Little the noses are fake. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So that's your Uncle Terry? Uh, He's glad to have met you. He's Amazing. no longer with us, I don't think. Amazing. Most of the people I'll show you. Are no longer <laughs> only in our hearts only in our hearts all right so all right. so that sums it up oh uh, what the fuck babe what the fuck welcome you're welcome i don't like that kind of thing so i would just like you guys to go to lrgpodcast.com get you a mug then Go to the link down in the description. Coffee brand coffee. All caps, long glove. 10% for you. Happy Halloween. Behold the video over here and the other over there. <laughs>